I don't know. I don't get it. I mean, I don't see an airport, and we're nowhere near any water. Okay, Van, this one is your turn. How about you go in and check to see if this is the right location? Okay. <laughs> Well, there's a positive sign. Van Hughes? Yes. How do you know my name? Well, I watch NASA Connect all the time. I'm Jane Garvey, head of the Federal Aviation Administration. Oh, wow. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Are you part of the road rally? Yes, I am. I'm your next to last stop on your navigational tour. I'm here to learn about how early aviators and today's pilots navigate through the air. Can you help? Yes, I can. Just as Garrett A. Morgan improved roadway navigation and sailors built on early successes in nautical navigation, early aviators and the federal government worked hard to make air travel safer and more efficient. In the beginning, after the Wright brothers' successful flights at Kitty Hawk, the first pilots had no navigational aids. They simply watched for landmarks and followed roads, rivers, and railroad tracks. This approach to navigation obviously had its shortcomings. It only worked in daylight and in clear weather. In 1921, pilots for the U.S. Post Office conducted a daring experiment for night flying. Bonfires lit by helpful citizens helped to aid pilots flying the mail across the country. This approach was followed by airways marked by a series of light beacons. As technology developed, the government introduced still better navigational aids using radio. By listening to radio signals, pilots could stay on course even when bad weather kept them from seeing lights on the ground. Today's pilots draw on the advantages of GPS to guide aircraft along highways in the sky. The FAA and its partners, such as NASA, are working to build tomorrow's air traffic control system, which will draw on the benefits of the global positioning system. Well, it sounds like I can do anything. How about the weather? Van, everybody talks about the weather, but not even GPS can do anything about it. Weather is also a major factor with aviation accidents. But along with NASA, the FAA is developing several tools to give pilots more and better information on hazardous weather conditions. Well, it looks like I've collected what I need. Uh, do you have a clue for my next stop? Well, your last stop will lead you to one of our partners who's working with us on GPS navigation. Good luck. Well, thanks. Bye. You know, the more I learn about GPS and its everyday applications, the more I am convinced that I should get one of these for when I go on the road with my band, The Noodles.